Well, good morning and happy Sunday. There goes Willow. <laughs> Running around. She's out here playing with the cat. So, yeah. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. It's been a while since I've I've done, you know, Saturday and Sunday. And, um, yeah. Because I, I said that I was going to continue to do these, you know, all, all week and weekend. There's... Mom yelling at the cat. <laughs> uh, they they normally come out, you know, between nine and ten, and they'll come over to to get some brunch. Cause every so often, you know, we we will do breakfast, but for the most part, it's just a, a brunch and then a, a late lunch, and then a dinner, you know, or dinner supper, however you want to say it, whatnot. But the reason why I'm over on this side, right, is I'm going to be working in here today. I want to apologize for any wind that you might be hearing. Mom says hi. They, they already heard you yelling at the cat. <laughs> so, but yes, today, so, and here comes Willow knocking. Go away. Go. Push left. Go. Go lay down. Driving me crazy. Two days in a row. But the, the biggest reason why I'm gonna be working in here today is I've been wanting to switch out the, the pressure switch that's in there. So for what I have in there, so obviously the RV, it, it works best at like a 40, 40 to 50 PSI, uh, just for, for pressures of, you know, being able to flush the toilets for the shower and all those things, right? So. And normally like the little pressure reducer. So if you ever go to a park or whatever, and they have high pressure, you always want to put in one of the, the pressure reducers in line to your hose. And it will keep that at like a 40, 45, 50, you know, depending on which one you get. Uh, most of them are like a 40 to 50 PSI regulator. Well, I, I'm going to go ahead and install that into one of our hoses. And the reason for that is because I'm actually going to be putting a 6080 pressure switch into the well house for the pressure tank. And like I said, apologize for any wind. Uh, but the reason for that is because right now the, we have a 3050 that's in there. And as long as it's staying above 40, right, which is only half of what that is, everything does okay. But once it drops below 40, you know, so between the 40 PSI down to 30 until the switch kicks on to, to repressurize the tank, it's just horrible, right? Uh, anybody trying to run two sinks at one time or just trying to, you know, if anybody's showering, you can't flush a toilet, you can't turn on a sink or anything like that because the water pressure is just horrible. And I actually had uh, Gary over at Junk to Gems even say, hey, check out some of your, uh, it was, uh, what are they, the, I can't, can't think right now, I haven't had enough coffee. Uh, it was a bypass, right, bypass valves. So... I'm actually still going to be looking up our our model of RV, just trying to get you know like a a diagram for the water, just to say, hey, where would some of these valves be? So what that is for, I guess, is some of the, the cold water being able to go through you know the hot water loop, and it's just you know there are different different ways that the water can flow, and if it wasn't routed cor correctly or the valves were installed wrong or just any anything, right? It can actually affect the, how the water flows through the RV and it can, it can affect that to where you can't turn on more than one thing at a time. So I'm, I'm gonna go through and, and kind of try to check that out and just see, cause obviously this RV, you know, was made during that, that time of, you know, that, that C word, that, that nobody really cares for. So obviously that's when a lot of places, you know, were shutting down. Um, obviously, you know, people going in to work that might've been undermanned, you know, so it, it's just during that, that time that, you know, things just really were not made very well. 
and it shows. <laughs> it shows. You know, I've already found uh, so many things in this RV that were just, you know, not not done well, right? There was just you know, nobody cared. They're just kind of throwing it together, you know. Even labels putting putting in the wrong spot, you know. It just attention to detail was just out the window, right? So. With that, I, I think being able to help with our water pressure issues is increasing the water pressure, right? <laughs> and to do that, I have to install a new switch. So I'm going to do that today. I've been trying to do that over the last couple of weeks. I just, you know, between doing laundry or, or working on some other things that require water, it, it's... It just hasn't happened yet. And finally, I put my foot down and say, all right, nobody's doing anything until I get this switch switched out. So that's what I'm doing this morning. But I wanted to come out here and get the, the scuttlebutt done first thing. And uh, it's still early enough that I'm going to go ahead and, and get the switch uh, taken care of. That way, by the time it's ready to do laundry or showering or anything like that later uh, that will be available so uh, it shouldn't take the long you know it's i would say less than an hour to to get it all uh, knocked out because it's just uh, disconnecting it electrically undoing it and then putting the new one in um, I, I may or may not do a video on it so just make sure that you're you know checking out the the main channel what's going on because I do want to show you know some of the things that we have been doing because obviously we've been clearing a lot more land we continue to clear land you know almost on the daily but I, I want to go ahead and show because we have not been recording like what we're doing uh, a, a little bit of snippets here and there I know mom records stuff on her phone Gladys records you know a few things here and there on her phone and um, I did go up and down you know the driveway uh, with a the box blade you know so I, I can even show that but i'm gonna have to talk a little bit on that later because uh little mac is is about like i am right now you know not not feeling too hot so <coughs> i mean we're uh we are you know doing okay you know I, for people getting sick you know we, we're doing the best we can Obviously, we try to stay outside, open up all the windows to the RV, let it air out. Um, but, you know, it's common cold, right? Obviously, you're going to get it every single year for the most part. But you just get outside, try to get some, some fresh air going. And then, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. But, okay, well, I know Gladys is trying to connect our uh, Amazon Prime to the TV so they can watch some movies. So, and I just got a code on my phone, which she's probably looking for. So I'll go ahead and end this here and I'll go share out that, that code to her so she can get logged in. And then, uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess, make sure you're out there thanking a the veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.